Well, hey folks, I'm Josh. Welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to make a quick little video about straightening up the corkscrew on your Swiss Army knife. So if you look closely at this corkscrew, you can see that it's kind of pushing out that way a little bit. The, the tip of the corkscrew should really kind of be centered probably on this gap, and it's definitely to the left. Now, this is fixable, and I've done this with one that was actually quite a bit worse, that was snagged off enough that you couldn't even get the it, the the tip of the corkscrew ran into the scale here and you couldn't get it to go all the way down um, this is one that i picked up used it's actually a cyber tool um, if you've ever looked at those they're fun but uh, so i picked this up used and part of the reason it was cheap was because the corkscrew's bent out a little bit and um, so i'm going to show you how i fix that to show you one that's in good shape if you look at this one the corkscrew the tip of the corkscrew if you can see it right in there is pretty centered in the space. So we want to we want to shift this one over. So the first thing you want to do when you do that is you want to remove the scales. So I got to take all the little tools out. All right. I don't I don't know if it's completely necessary to remove the scales, but I take them off cuz I don't want to risk cracking them, especially these translucent blue ones. I think they're kind of neat. Um, and sometimes it helps to heat the scales up with some hot water. I don't know if that's always necessary. Um, we'll see if I have to do that this time, if I can get this tool in between the layers. Yeah, so that's why you wanna use hot water. You can see I messed up that plastic a little bit. But not too bad. I think it'll still go on. And worst case scenario, put a little dab of super glue in there, and that'll be sufficient to make these scales still usable. So the next thing you want to do now that you've got your scales off is you want to find a nail. Go rummaging around in your, uh, I don't know, that little jar you have of random nails that you've saved or that somebody else saved, at, the, or you're going to have to go to the hardware store, and you're looking for a nail that is just big enough to fit inside the corkscrew, and not be too loose. So this one has a little bit of wiggle, but not too much. Um, I don't actually know what size nail this is. We could measure it quick here, just a second. All right, so just for reference, this nail is about 2.48 millimeters, whatever size that ends up being. 2.46, 2.48, 2.5. So um, if you have to go to the hardware store and you know, forgot your knife, that's the diameter you're looking for. But if you do have to go to the hardware store or whatever, I mean, just take your knife and test out the nails. Anyway, uh, once you find the nail that fits, the next thing you need is a vise. And I'll be using this vise, it has wooden jaws. You wanna be careful here, if you have a metal jawed vise, I would not clamp the knife directly up in a metal jawed vise. Make sure you put some padding in between, maybe a sheet of cardboard or some wood or something, just to make sure you don't mar up the brass. Um, pins and rivets and uh, these bushings. So be careful that you don't mess those up because that's what holds the scales on. So get your vise, put a little bit of pressure because what you're trying to do is you need to put, you need to be able to move the corkscrew without messing up the rivets and pins. Um, so if you just start moving it, like holding it in your hand or something and you're not squeezing the knife, you can actually loosen up the uh, peening that holds everything together and you don't want your knife to get all loose. So this is going to really hold it all together while you do some bending. Um, now I'm going to move the camera so you can kind of see this from a little bit different angle. All right, so you can see the vise is holding the knife firmly and we're ready to maybe try a little bending. So if you don't make sure you don't bend it the wrong way. I need to go this way. Put the nail all the way in. The nail is to keep the corkscrew itself from bending. Hopefully it gives it just enough support that as you put pressure onto it, you don't end up making the corkscrew crooked. You want to keep the corkscrew as straight as possible, and the bending needs to happen probably down here, down here in the little shaft section. That's usually where things get bent. So let's see if we can help this a little bit. Now you don't want to go crazy. Just go a little bit by little bit, because if you go too far, If you go too far, uh, you know, obviously then you got to come back. And the more bending you do, the more weakening you do. So I moved it a little bit. 
but not enough. So let's try it again. Now I don't, I don't think you really necessarily need tools for this part other than the nail. Um, I mean, you could get a pair of pliers and like grip on here if you had to, but I'm afraid if I had the leverage pliers offer, I would go too far. That's really not what I want to do here. So put a little pressure on it, see if that did it. Getting closer, slowly. leather glove to pad my fingers. Whoa, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so you can see. Focus. There we go. There you can see the corkscrew. The tip of the screw is now sitting in the center of the space there. And uh, from the top, that looks better. So we didn't move it a lot, but we moved it enough that it's now centered again. I'm less likely to snag that tip as I'm taking it into my pocket or something. And um, so that's all it took. Pretty quick and easy thing. The trick is just having the right size nail, maybe give yourself a little padding, and having a vise to make sure you hold the knife secure. Um, so all I gotta do now is put the scales back on, which is not a terribly hard thing, but I'm actually gonna clean this knife before I put the scales back on, so I won't show you that right now. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Have a good one.